In this video, we will demonstrate how to set up the equipment for the Toad Epithelial Transport Practical class. We will also demonstrate how to measure the voltage offset for the equipment. On the bench in front of you, you will find a power lab, a silver amplifier box, and a black resistor box. You will also find a blue easy mount frame, a perspex ussing chamber, a sheet of parafilm, a tray for catching waste buffer, a specimen jar with a blank tissue holder, a specimen jar with four electrodes, a petri dish with four agar bridges, and an air pump. To assemble the equipment, place the oozing chamber on top of the parafilm and slide the unit into the easy mount frame, placing the container to catch the drips underneath the chamber. Next, take one of the tubes from the air pump and attach it to the easy mount frame as shown here. Your equipment should now look something like this. Next we will assemble the blank tissue holder. Take the specimen jar with the tissue holder and remove the contents. Place the washer into the white part of the tissue holder and then place the clear perspex part on top. And insert the assembled tissue holder into the Ussing chamber with the clear part facing the left. Lower the arms to lock the slider in place and use the knob on the side to squeeze all of the pieces together. The chamber is now prepared. Next we will need to assemble the electrodes. In the second specimen jar you will find two white and two black electrodes. To assemble the electrodes, take one of the agar bridges, ensuring that it is topped up with 3 molar potassium chloride solution. Take one of the white electrodes and insert it into the agar bridge. It is essential that you do not introduce any air bubbles when you do this, otherwise the electrode will not work. Twist the electrode to secure it in place, and then insert the assembled electrode into the left hand side of the Ussing chamber as shown here. Next, take a black electrode and secure it in place as before, being careful not to introduce any air bubbles. And then insert this electrode into the Ussing chamber, again as shown here. Repeat for the remaining two electrodes. In the assembled chamber, you will notice that the two white electrodes are outermost and the two black electrodes are innermost, next to the tissue holder. Ensure that your chamber is set up in the same way. Next, we need to fill the Ussing chamber with normal toad ringers. Use the transfer pipette to squirt ringers solution into the Ussing chamber until you reach the red fill line. This is approximately 5 mils. If you notice that there are any air bubbles in the chamber, as shown here, be sure to dislodge them before continuing. The electrodes have now been assembled and we are ready to wire them to the power lab. Firstly, take the blue and white wires. Place the blue wire on the right white electrode and the white wire on the left white electrode. Then take the orange and white pair and place the orange wire on the left black electrode and the white wire on the right black electrode. Your connections should now look something like this. Having wired your electrodes, if you are not already, log into Lab Tutor. Then select the Toad Epithelial Transport Prac 1. And once the software is started, press the Start button. And go to page 4. On page 4 you will find a chart window. In the top right hand corner press start. This will begin the trace. If the trace is too small, press the auto scale button in the top left hand corner of channel 1. 
the same can be done for channel 2. This is the potential across the chamber with no tissue in place and represents the offset voltage. To measure the offset voltage, press stop and place the cursor in a part of the trace where channel 2 reads 0 volts. In this example, we have minus 4.7 millivolts. Your chamber is now set up and you are ready to proceed.